Lake. It's all VFR to avoid a paper trail, but along the way we have to pass through the Las Vegas class Bravo airspace, as well as a bunch of restricted airspace owned by Nellis Control. I'll handle all radio communication, you do the flying. We'll take off and fly runway heading to 4000, then turn left and fly direct to the Mercury NDB at Desert Rock. We usually file to Desert Rock, but when nobody's looking, we turn north and follow the Immigrant Valley to Groom Lake. Ready? I'll get our clearance out of here. Clearance, Janet 356, VFR to Desert Rock with information, Charlie. Janet 356, you're cleared into the Las Vegas Class Bravo airspace. Fly runway heading, maintain 4,500. Departure frequency will be 125.9er. Squawk 4211. Cleared into the Class Bravo on runway heading, climbing to 4.5. Departure on 125.9er. Squawk 4211. That's what I was telling you, the Janet flights went to uh, Area 51. Out of McCarran International, next to Las Vegas. All right, start the engines and we can get the show on the road. There's their their building. And there's Las Vegas in the background. It's that Luxor pyramid light. And here's McCarran. This is a mission. Which way we want to go here, man? I think everybody knows. If it's in a game. Good morning, Las Vegas. Where's this guy that's talking? All right. Let's get this show going. People want action, man. Action, dude. Finally, we're going. Get this pig off the ground. Oh, finally, it picks up some speed. Here we go, Las Vegas. Gear up.
Flaps up. Flaps up. They only want to fly at 4,000. This isn't the way. I know the way. GPS is huge. Oh man. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear up. Yeah. Flaps up. Yeah. After takeoff checklist complete. <laughs> That's the whole checklist, huh? Well, uh, it's pretty much letting me fly. I get on the pink line on the GPS. I know where 51 is. It's at uh, right of KINS there on the GPS, Indian Springs. So that's what I thought. They fly to Desert Rock, and then they take a right. They just told you that. They just told the whole world in a video game. This is the first time it's been, Area 51's been modeled though. And certainly the Janet flights and admit to all of that at, at Las Vegas, at uh, McCarran. Does it show the guy in the co-pilot? Yeah, but not from inside. There we are, big white bus. about to intersect this line on the GPS. MCY, that's Desert Rock. I don't know why we go there. But it's a more direct route. Maybe these are lower mountains. That's KINS, Indian Springs. We're approaching Desert Rock. We just picked up Nellis Control. And we can see we turn right up here. If you went straight the way, way I'm looking a little bit, uh, you'd be headed directly for Area 51. I already. I fly that all the time. I don't know why they're jogging us over here. Well, because we filed a flight plan to Desert Rock and we have to fool everybody, I guess. Not fooling anybody. I don't even think this thing could land at Desert Rock. It's a tiny little desert field. I don't even see it. It's a few miles up ahead.
Oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, it's a long runway. There's nothing there, though. We're crossing the Mercury NDB, so turn right to the heading of 010, and we'll fly up the Immigrant Valley toward Pyramid. It's a waypoint located at that pyramid-shaped peak on the horizon up by Groom Lake. Janet, 356, unidentified, fast-moving traffic, 2 o'clock, 10 miles, westbound, altitude unknown, port traffic in sight. Janet, 356, looking. Janet, 356, traffic alert, traffic now 12 to 1 o'clock, less than a mile, west. Good, let's see a UFO. I'll land this thing. Just talk to the tower. Approach brief. We'll request the visual approach to runway 32 via Pyramid Waypoint. That's just to the southeast of Groom Lake, but tower will probably clear us to land before we get there. See it on the GPS there. Got a ways to go. Reduce our speed to two five zero. Like 30 miles. miles. Okay, we're going to pause. And there's a UFO as we approach it. Whee! Longhorn 27, fast mover traffic just south of the ramp now. Additional traffic at the slow mover departing the north pad eastbound. Longhorn 27 looking. Longhorn 27 has both aircraft in sight. Longhorn 27, oh. Longhorn cleared land runway 32. Port gear down. Clear to land 32, Longhorn 27. You see the UFO? Well, I remodeled Groom Lake Area 51 here, so I don't know what this is going to look like. I think they put some special stuff down for if you've done that chase the UFOs mission you get some more scenery and maybe they added some for this mission they just had a UFO fly by and land there ahead of us we're about four miles from the runway now lower the landing gear slowly add full flaps and reduce speed to 140 knots for the approach Gear is going to slow us down tremendously. Lower the landing gear. Okay. Longhorn 27 on short final. Gear down and locked. Longhorn 27 right. Yeah, I'm too slow. And landing checklist. Landing gear is down. Too low. Too far from the runway. Set to full. Lower full flaps. I already got flaps, buddy. Shut up and hang on. Landing checklist complete. What is there over there? They put stuff here. They put UFOs or buildings or something here. Oh, 
Ooh. I didn't think I was that close to down yet. It's okay. Now this will reverse. So, yeah, they got big UFOs here. Well, let's take this taxiway. Trying to get there. Hold on. Those big black and orange window side things are UFOs. They're not part of the scenery. They're not telling me anything. So I'll talk to ground. Now it's not working. They're gonna, they're gonna tell me what to do here. It's a long taxi. Hang on or fast forward. Got my F 22s here, my F 117, but there's a UFO parked on top of them. Is that what they think a UFO looks like? Oh, is that where they're saying they parked the Janet flights? I parked them way down at the end. I see the other Janet bird there. Right in front of the fire station? Well, they got a SR-71 there. Those guys are parked on top of my birds I put here. F-117s and F-22s. They got big feet landing gear coming off them. I guess I just go in straight ahead. <laughs> now, after you do these missions, are these UFOs always going to be there? Because that'll be a problem. Because I've redone this whole base. I mean, I didn't rearrange everything, but right in front of us is the fire station, that hangar where you see the other Janet bird parked. And that fire station was turned the other way. I can't believe they parked down here. I have the Janet flights parking way down there with those two big hangars side by side. There's a good look at the UFO. I have F-22s here on the flight line that I put in. And F-117s over here. And that's where they choose to park the UFOs. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Those things are huge. So you just park right here. I guess this is a road here they can go to. They put a SR-71 over here and a 
a static display F-22 that looks like crap. It's not telling me where to go, so I'm just pulling up here. I put that UFO in the hangar over there. Set the parking brake, turn off the fasten seatbelt sign, and shut her down. Nice flying, by the way. Although officially this flight never happened. Welcome to Dreamland. Is this door open? Yep. <laughs> Black Hawk comes by. Parking brake. Success! There you are. Now you know how it all happened. It's not a secret anymore. Now we know. Okay. That's a wrap. Over and out. See ya.